Hey guys, Brendan Air Productions here, and welcome to this video. This video is actually sponsored by HostGator. Um, they are my web host for both brandonsoft.com and bpforums.info, and I have been using them for about four months now, and I am very happy with their service. They not only offer low rates for what they do, but also have extremely good customer service and extremely good uptime. So if you'd like to start your own website and don't know where to start, start with HostGator. Alright guys, now this video is actually going to be um, part 4 on how to create your own MySQL database program. Now we've covered how to, uh, how to register, how to log in, and how to actually make your table. And now we're going to cover how to package your program so others can run it. So if you remember in part 1 and part 2 what we did is we actually installed a MySQL connector. Now this connector enabled us to um, connect to the MySQL server. Now other other computers won't be able to connect to the MySQL server if they don't have the connector. So what we're going to do is actually package the connector with our software, just like we're distributing it. So the first thing you want to do in order to package your software is to go to your debug folder in um, your projects, which normally is Visual Studio 2010 Project Bin Debug. And then you're going to want to find the executable and make sure that's in there. In our case, it is in there. Okay, um, make sure everything works before packaging it. And then what you want to do is find where you uh, downloaded the MySQL connector to. I downloaded mine to uh, Downloads. And then just go ahead and right click it and copy it. And then paste it right into your debug folder. Now you'll have um, two files, your exe, your .msi, and then you'll have a bunch of other files that aren't really that important. Now in order to package your software and make it work efficiently, you need to have the user run this. So what we're going to need uh, in order to have the user install this program is an application called WinRAR. WinRAR actually allows you to make a self-extracting archive and allows you to, let's say, unpack your items and then once you're done, run a certain item. So, what you're going to have to do is say, uh, so what you want to do is highlight your two files, and then right click and say add to archive with WinRAR. And then you're going to want to check create SFX arch archive. And then uh, you're going to want to rename it. I'm going to name mine my SQL tutorial. Then you're going to go to the, going to want to go to the advanced tab and press SFX options. Now here's where you can actually configure your self-extracting archive as they call it. So we're just going to leave path to extract blank and then here run after extraction. You're going to want to make it run mysql.data.msi or whatever your mysql uh, connector installer is called. Then you're going to want to press advanced and nothing here modes, nothing there, update Make sure you check overwrite all files just in case they already have something installed. Then in text and icon you can actually um, design what the first page is going to look like. So my SQL tutorial installer. Please choose a path. And then under the license tab you can actually design a license that the user has to accept while installing the program. Uh, we're just not going to go ahead and do that because there's nothing a user really has to accept. And then module, just leave that like it is. And then you're going to want to press OK and then OK. And it will start packaging right away. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, run this file just to make sure everything works out great. So we're going to double click it. And then as you can see here it says please choose a path. And by default the destination folder will be the folder that the uh, File is, fire file is stored in, but we're just going to go ahead and press browse and do it to our desktop. And then we're going to press install. And it extracts the two files, and then as you can see here, it runs the uh, connector setup. And that way the user will install the connector, and then once he's done installing the connector, there'll be uh, the executable wherever he uh, wanted it to go. And then once he runs it, it'll be able to run. Okay, so that was the tutorial part of this video. That's how you package your software in order to help other people run MySQL. Now it's time for the announcements part. This might be long, but first announcement, if you didn't know, 
I actually got accepted for a YouTube partnership. So um, you can easily tell because if you actually go to one of my videos uh, and go up to where the little icon would be, I put a little VB code in here. See, so yeah, this is this is nice. It says message box to subscribe. Yes. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't because now I'll be able to make super long tutorials without uh, all these parts. So you don't have to wait for the next part to be up. I can do it in one long video, which is awesome. Uh, the second announcement I have for you guys is if you go to my website, there's actually a new live support button. And at this moment, live support is online. So um, if you ever want to talk with me, in fact, if if you're a viewer of this video and you just want to you just want to say hi to me, click on this live support button and then um, go ahead and fill out this information. Uh, your question, you could just say hi, and then I'll answer on my end and uh, we can have a little chat. Uh, the third thing I want to talk about is my forum. BP forums has just been uh, renovated to stop stop spam. So if you want to join a spam free forum and um, have a good time learning VB.net and other computer stuff. Go ahead and join my forum at bpforms.info. So thanks for watching part four. I'm sorry for that um, little stream of announcements there. But remember, you can talk to me on my live chat. I now have a YouTube partnership, so be expecting longer and better videos. And um, yes, I uh, will see you guys in a future video. Uh, thanks for watching, and remember to uh, have a great day. All right, see ya.